Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you the cargo control room of my ship. So guys, back side you can see, this is the big console. We call it cargo control console. So on this, you will find all many gauges uh, and the level indicators and operating walls, gas systems, clock, framo control system. Uh, wax control systems, high level alarms, uh, bunker level alarms. So many things are there. So one by one we'll see what is there uh, in this console unit and how it works. Back side you can see this is the working area of cargo control room. And this side, this side you will see this is a security system and this is the blast water treatment system unit and this is your inert gas system main unit which is present in CCR so from here they start it and control the IG right now the system is stopped only in case of discharging they use the IG most of the time the tank is full with IG so this is a big unit this side you can see the IG this is the tank pressure 3.802 and 687 tank pressure these are capacity set point, O2 set point, tank pressure set point fuel capacity control set point This side you can see, it's a big console. Uh, right side you will see framo system, left side you will see multiple gauges. So guys, this is the unit for uh, wall remote control system. If you want to operate any of the walls, like uh, water ballast tank valve or the cargo pump valve, port or starboard, you can operate it from here. So remotely you will be able to open or close the wall you can see the red indication the right now the walls are closed this one is blinking there is some uh, indication issue but currently the wall is shut I think and this is the unit for TRCS pump unit which is there in the engine room uh, which always maintain 100 bar of pressure so that uh, they are able to operate these walls and this is the pump selection switch these are the stop switch start switch power on indication and this is a small notice this is a common buzzer for all this console you can do buzzer stop flicker stop lamp test buzzer test and this is the main power indication main power on main power fail emergency 220 and emergency 24 volt dc so right now this power source is on these are the ballast tanks so you can see all the walls are closed. This is the indication for how much percentage the valve is open or closed. So when you operate this, uh, this is the 50% on the center. So you, you can judge the valve is how much throttled. This side you will see HFO bunker tank overfill alarms. So these are the draft gauges for a mid port, mid starboard, aft and forward. And then this is the boiler steam pressure, fire line main pressure, tank cleaning main line pressure and cargo manifold pressure. These two are port and starboard HFO tank uh, gauge. And this is the aft peak tank. And these are the water ballast tanks level gauges. So right now the uh, ship is in ballast condition so you can see the level gauges are uh, showing to the maximum side and this is the 4 peak tank. Below you will see high level alarms. This is just a repeater unit of cargo level gauging system, tank radar system. So here you will see how much percentage the cargo is filled. Right now they are empty. Cargo oil pump discharge, starboard, port, 
सो मल्टीपल गेजेस आर देयर वॉटर पला सक्शन साइड पोर्ट एंड स्टार बोर्ड यू कैन सी ऑल द इंडिविजुअल टैंक्स डिस्चार्ज प्रेशर बिलो यू विल सी ओ डी एम ई राइट नाउ इट इज ऑफ चीफ ऑफिसर ओनली स्टार्टेड यू कैन सी द पंप इज रनिंग नाउ इट ऑटोमेटिकली कट इन कट ऑफ एंड दिस इज वी एच एफ इन केस ऑफ लोडिंग ऑल द ऑफिसर्स विल बी इन सी सी आर सो दे आर एबल टू कंट्रोल इट फ्रॉम हेयर इफ दू वॉन्ट टू स्पीक विद द टर्मिनल दिस इज द टैंक ओवर फिल अलार्म सो इफ एनी ऑफ द कार्गो टैंक्स रीच टू द हाइयर नाइन्टी एट परसेंट यू कैन सी ओवर फिल अलार्म सेट एट नाइन्टी एट परसेंट इफ इट रीच टू नाइन्टी एट परसेंट ऑफ लेवल दैट पर्टिकुलर टैंक विल गिव द अलार्म यू कैन सी द पावर बटन पावर इज ऑन this vcs uh, generally they started they calibrated uh, most of the time i also do it otherwise chief officer will do and while loading or discharging they switch on it and uh, it's a regulation so this actually a uh, vapor line which is present in uh, manifold uh, how much oxygen percentage is there it monitors this is the gas fixed gas system which is there for water ballast tank and um, our accommodation entrance also so this actually senses your c3h8 ch4 o2 and h2s so these are the four detector which is present in this if it reaches the alarm value it will give the alarm this will sampling point and the alarm level it will give and it will give the gas alarm so you have to mute and reset it and find the fault so with this uh, you will be able to find uh, any gas leakage is present in your ballast tanks or your uh, any of the gas pocket is uh, there in accommodation and transport or starboard so this is a requirement for a tanker so it is always there on every ship tanker ship this is the bilge high level alarm uh, right side you will see a clock below you will find a framo cargo pumping system so you will see a big Three black color gauges: hydraulic oil temperature, feed pressure, and system pressure. So, system pressure and feed pressure, the, and all these things are uh, regulated using this pressure set, as per the requirement. Chief officer used to do it. These are the four electric-driven power packs, and these are the three diesel power packs. so in diesel power pack you will see the temperature rpm and bar which is common start stop switch alarm trip wear indication remote control load and load stop okay and the running or meter in this you will find only ampere and running or start stop load and wear indication so these are the things which are there uh, and just below you will find a lever for all the individual cargo tanks and uh, ballast port and starboard so with the help of this green switch you can start the uh, framo pump and regulate the flow of oil hydraulic oil so that the that framo pump will increase and decrease the pressure using this lever as you can see the discharging is going on right now you can see the hydraulic oil temperature feed pressure system pressure on high mode the hydraulic oil pump is running without any alarm right now these pumps are not running these are d3 dg these electric power pack they are running and you can see the amps and you can see the load below you can see the pumps Which are on and their regulators. These are the IG valve position indication. Uh, they are not electrical driven. They are just for reminding you that which valves are open and close. This one is a general emergency alarm, engineer safety alarm. This is the mic for public announcement system, sound power telephone, and this is auto telephone. so these are the things which are there on cargo control room this side you will find co2 6.8 kg fire extinguisher 
light switches and one manual call point entry or exit door for CCI below you will find rubber mat because everything is operated electrically guys this is the Banwas buzzer unit which is close to the door and this side is your all loadicator and PC for your loading operation so all these IT equipments are there so let's see what is there inside the cargo control console so there you will find only on only electrical items so you can see all these electrical wires these are general barrier is barrier for uh, high level alarms or any other equipment which are there on the deck so these are numerous wires and breaker fuses and many things this is just behind what we have seen a uh, few units back in front of the console this is your framo pumping system this is the behind part all these pcb cards communications and this is your clock from behind gas system behind and you will see more things like this are the your pressure gauges which you have seen for after gauging or any discharging pressure these are the loadicator unit which you have seen in the front these are the pcb cards and this is the plc which monitor all the alarms or any other parameters which are there in the console these are the relay and this is for framo system for emergency operation and these are the mcbs look wise they are different but in case you want to shut the power you can use them or in case of trip you can reset them so guys see you in the next video till then bye bye take care